Hey, welcome back to some more Astro Boy Mega Factor. In the last episode, we finished off stages six and seven, I believe. And in today's episode, we're going to continue on from where we left off. We're finishing, having finished off Pluto, unfortunately. You were magnificent. I wish I could have met you under different circumstances. Pluto, please tell Zoran that that Pluto died with dignity. Pluto, goodbye. Press it, so you've defeated Pluto too. Shadow, you'll pay for this. Don't be so upset. Well, I think this little charade is over now. It's time for you to see who you're really dealing with. You're Shiraku? That's right, you're surprised, aren't you? I've traveled 30,000 years through time with my Hoakabari Kaluma potion. I had plans to have you join me and take care of a little nuisance, but it's all over now. Nuisance? You'll see what I mean soon enough. By the way, it's not too late yet. Just consider it. Join me. There's no way I'd ever join you. Why not? I thought I freed the robots from their slavery. You only did that to further your goals. Humans and robots should be able to live together in harmony. That's just wishful thinking, Nastro. A kid's dream. Remember President Rag? Recall what humans have done to robots. These were the actions of other humans. I saved the robots from these humans. If you destroy me, history will just repeat itself. A kid like you cannot do anything by yourself. Earth requires a strong hand to guide it. My hand, under my rule. That's enough, Shiraku. Hey, I'm not going to fight you here. I've seen enough of your brute strength. Look up at the sky. It's coming. My little nuisance. What? I am Death Mask. I am the goddess of justice who shall pronounce judgment on all robots. All robots, listen to me. Because of the conflict you have caused, this earth has become a wasteland. Death Mask will now pronounce judgment. Death, I will destroy all robots on earth using Omotenium. What is that? Even I have no idea. So that thing, when I, when I try to change history, I always get the same result. Well, no matter. I believe I can now transcend time by using a secret process. I'll trace back time and look for a timeline where it won't get in my way. I'll use the conflict between humans and robots to my advantage again. Meanwhile, you can sleep here peacefully. Goodbye, Astro. But wait! Oh no, I feel my energy being drained. I would cut in like this. Am I dying? Listen, sinful robots. I am Death Mask. Your sinful nature will be burned away by Death Mask. that credits roll thank you all for joining me I'm just kidding the game's definitely not over yet I'm gonna see if I can skip this if that's cool wake up Astro who are you I'm Phoenix I'm a legendary bird with eternal life what what happened to me you died Astro died but I'm a robot do robots have life what do you think life is, then? Everything in this universe has life. Trees, stones, beasts, fish, birds, humans, robots, and even stars. They're all the same. Everything's connected in the measurable space of the cosmos. Astro, I've been watching you. Watching as you try to create peace between humans and robots. But despite my effort, I wasn't able to accomplish my goal. All robots have been destroyed. Humans originally created robots to make their life easier and happier. Robots also wanted to make humans happy. Please tell me, Phoenix, what went wrong? When did humans and robots start walking on the wrong path? You should go and find out for yourself. What? I'm giving you another chance. A chance to go back in time and start over again. You know what? Be able to redo and change any of your experiences as many times as you need to. You also keep the powers and memories you've gained, even as you go back. Find the way. Find the new future where humans and robots both can live in peace. It is your mission. Go now, Astro. The fate of the future lies completely in your hands. Such a noble soul, created by human hands. And we've met Phoenix! With Phoenix, I think we're gonna take the final jets. Due to the power of the Phoenix, Stage Select is now available. With Stage Select, press up or down on the control pad on the pause screen. Stage Select screen will let you replay stages you've once cleared before. Each stage is divided into several blocks. Please select the block you want to go to. Press the switch to another stage slash block while playing a different one. 
solve hidden puzzles by going back and forth between stages and blocks. It's gonna allow you to access new stages. Total score will now be calculated. I can feel that I'm transcending time now. I can see something. What is it? Am I dreaming? Or am I seeing somebody's memory? Is this happening because of the power of the Phoenix? Watch the show here every day, eh? Yeah, I love watching the space shuttles. How about you? That's our company shuttle. Wow, you must be rich. Not my business. My father brought that. I want to become an artist. Look at what I've made. Hey, would you like to go out with me sometime? Sorry, but I can't. Why not? Today is my last day. I'll be stuck in the hospital starting tomorrow. Are you sick? Yeah, but my dad says that I don't need to worry. Still, I've heard that I have a very complicated disease. Dr. Blackjack's supposed to be able to help, but we don't know where he is now. I wish I'd go to the moon one day. Cheer up. I'm going to the hospital to see you. But I'll be in a treatment room, which is restricted to robots. Oh yeah? Well, check this out. What is it? My dad's company produces robot parts. I can disguise myself and see you. I'm really good with my hands. That's why I might want to be an artist someday. <laughs> You're going to come to the hospital like that. It's so funny. I promise that I'll take you to the moon sometime, so cheer up. Oh, I haven't gotten your name yet. It's Prime Rose. And yours? I'm Daichi. Rebirth. And there we go. We've actually gone... We've finally beaten the main game, and now Things are opening up a whole hell of a lot more. We're gonna start off by going back through all the stages. Uh, so things are gonna be pretty different now. You'll see what I mean when we get there. So, still pretty early in the episode. Let's jump in. It's running away. Come back here. So, I will be re reading a lot of the dialogue here. Some of it's different, some of it's the same, and I don't really know which is which until we get there. Oh, hello. This is new. My name is Drake. I'm the new International Counselor. My mission is to destroy all robots. Every single one of them. <laughs> Prepare to die, robots. What? Drake. Who's now greyed out as well. Alright, so it is quite fun getting to go back and having all these real weak enemies that we get to just take out as we see fit. Like two punches and they're done. So nice. Oh, it's so nice having the finger laser be that strong. Alright. On to the next stage. Ouch. I think there was a kid in one of these. Yeah, here he is. I'm a Legio. I can't believe it. You're a robot. That's amazing. Wow, well, it's nice to see anyone here. Go for around here, so you know there like back of my hand. Cheering for you, good luck. Okay, thanks. Well, that was no different. Alright. So far, nothing too different, nothing Aside from that Drake guy being like, I'm the International Counselor. Even though I thought... And wasn't... Yeah, this guy was. Duke Red was. Lee Joe has a little exclamation mark on him, for some reason. As does Phoenix. That looks like... I don't know, some someone. And we've got those two there. 
on that one. Anyway. Let's use an arm cannon. So that'll make quick work of them. I'm gonna try and keep these episodes somewhere around 15 to 30 minutes if possible. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, 15 to 20 minutes, I should say. Oh, these guys are much easier this time around. God, this game is fun. There's something so satisfying about just running through and beating the crap out of these all these guys. I wish I did it slightly sooner, but that's alright. I can just punch these guys. Uh, nothing really too different or exciting, but beating these guys so quickly is very satisfying. And it really makes me notice how much stronger I've become. Punch, punch, there we go. Not all of them. Ah, here we go. Big spider boss. And this time. Oh wow, yeah. This guy is gonna be going real quick. Thank you, Astro. You truly are a special robot. Well, I just did what any other robot would do. You're really grown up, Astro. There's nothing more I can teach you. I'm going over to Boone's place to help out. Boone? He's an archaeologist excavating the ruins of the Moo civilization. He's short on manpower, so I've been planning to go help him out for some time. The excavation site is at, at Fire Va Vars Island in the Pacific Ocean. You should come by later. Okay. Fire Vars Island is right by Cruciform Island. Maybe I can get some clues about Shiraku there. I should head out there later. Alright, sounds like a plan. But now, let's beat up this thing. Which I believe was Atlas's, uh... Little... Planned, uh... Threat. Ow. I kind of forget that it's not just this little hump on the back. I could just I can hit the main body as well. Let's just do this. Alright, I think this will finish him. Yeah, perfect. Less than a minute. Hmm, not bad. Atlas! What? Do you know who I am? Of course I know who you are. Now stop before it's too late. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. But it's too late to defeat you just yet. You must grow stronger and evolve. Not just for your own sake, but for mine as well. We'll meet again. Atlas. How does Astro know him? You have the ability to... No, he couldn't. This is unexpected. Very good, Astro. Continue on. You must evolve yet. Eventually, you'll become my greatest creation. Alright. I think we're gonna leave it there. Uh, we'll go through these cutscenes first. 
Listen to me, everyone. Did you all witness Magnemite, the robot that went out of control? Robots are a danger to mankind. Sooner or later, they'll destroy us all. People, now is the time for us to unite. Let us eliminate all robots from the face of this earth. Put it right there, Drake. Not every robot goes out of control. You're trying to provoke the people into a meaningless battle. Your premature judgment could mean the ruin of our society. What has happened to your humanity? Pride, friendship, and forgiveness. Have you lost them all? Heresy. That way of thinking only encourages robots to rebel against us. You don't deserve to be an international counselor anymore. I demand you to step down, Duke Red. What a mess. It was starting to agree with Drake's arguments. But nothing bad comes out of this. Anyway, I want you to meet Detective Tawashi at the International Police. Hello, Astro. Pacific Ocean, right? I'm on my way. How did he know that? Can he read people's minds? It truly is a super robot. Alright. I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna leave it there for now. Oh, 0-4, Boone's Archaeological Site. Interesting. I have to check that out next time, I think. Thank you all so much for joining me. Next time on Astro Boy Mega Factor, we're gonna check out the Boone's Archaeological Site and then continue on through stage. Repeat. Going through stage two. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.